We are pleased to summarize the PSU work of Omid Mashinchum on the 3D generation of myogenic organoids, published as a collaborative project between the Lutov lab at EPFL, the Phage lab at EPFL and Nestle, and the Benzerville lab at University of Sherbrooke, Canada. Human immunospolar potent stem cell, or HIPCs, are typically recurrent from adult human cells and collected from blood or saliva. IPSC can be expanded and differentiated in 2D to generate differentiated cells of different lineages. For example, ectodermal commitment enables normal differentiation, while endodermal commitments enables hepatic or intestinal differentiation. Skeletal muscle derived from mesodermal lineage is specialized in voluntary contraction and made of multinucleated muscle fibers formed by fusion of myogenic progenitors. Over the past few years, several transfer-free HIPC protocols have been established for mesodermal differentiation towards myogenic lineage, most of which ultimately form a mixture of progenitors and muscle fibers after three to five weeks of in vitro culture in 2D. Therefore, an efficient protocol for the targeted production of a pure population of myogenic progenitors, expressing the master regulator of skeletal muscle stem cell function, PAC7, would be highly useful. Unlike current protocol with clonal IPSC cultures, mesodermal and myogenic specification during the development relies on a complex interplay between cell types and different signaling factors in 3D. We reason that recapitulating this complex interplay in 3D organoids in vitro could enhance the efficiency of myogenic commitment and allow us to study PAC7 muscle stem cell in a more physiological three-dimensional niche. To optimize a 3D IPSC differentiation protocol to the skeletal muscle lineage, we aggregated stem cell in 3D and in suspension and a spring a variety of cell types typically found in the muscle stem cell niche for their capacity to promote mesodermal and myogenic specification. The combination of endothelial cells and fibroblasts was most efficient in promoting PAC7 myogenic induction in three component invariants or TCPs. When combined with a stimulation of wind and FGF signaling pathways, our 3D aggregation in induced TCEs generates between 40 and 50% of maximum positive human myogenic progenitors. Using single cell RNA sequencing, we observe that human cells in ITCs undergo mesodermal specification, and after two weeks, the myogenic population becomes highly abundant. By combining our single cell sequencing result with bulk RNA sequencing, and by using the specific small molecule inhibitors, we determined the supportive cell types in ITCEs generate a highly specialized extracellular matrix environment and activate the PI3K, FGF, and knife signal pathways to direct HIPCs toward the myogenic limit. <laughs> ITCEs can also be collected through an isolated pure population of myogenic progenitors, of which we screen an optimized combination of cell surface markers. This is the best achieved by digesting the aggregates enzymatically and sorting live myogenic sets by flow cytometry using the cell surface markers CD56 and integrin alpha 9, resulting in 99% pure population of live myogenic progenitors. Altogether, the isolation of live human myogenic progenitors enabled multiple downstream applications. EMB can be recultured in vitro and induce or differentiate into myotubes that contract and recapitulate muscle fiber physiology. Combining this approach with IPSC lines from different muscle genetic disease or with drug or nutrient screening will allow us to further study the mechanism of myogenesis and muscle physiology in health and disease. In addition, since ITCEs are cultured in suspension, they can be produced in a large quantities as demonstrated in our scale-up experiment in a bioreactor-like setting. This enables different applications, 
such as cell therapy, which we have demonstrated by injecting these cells coming from healthy donors in immunocompromised MDX mice, harboring the mutation of a dystrophin that causes Duchenne muscular dystrophy. EMB were able to engraft into dystrophic muscle, restore dystrophic expression, and generate a stronger muscle than conventional myoblast culture in vitro. Importantly, EMP also repopulated the muscle stem cell compartment and could be remobilized after multiple rounds of generation, demonstrating that these cells are highly myogenic while maintaining the capacity of cell renewal. Overall, we have generated a model of myogenic differentiation in 3D, which allow us to study human muscle stem cell in the niche context. Very little specialized infrastructure is required. The cell lines needed to generate ITCs are widely available. Our suspension-based protocol allows to generate pure and highly competent myogenic cells in only two weeks. CD56 and integrin alpha 9 allow the purification of 99% PAC7 positive EMPs competent for myogenesis and in vivo engraftment. We hope this tool will prove useful to the research community.